supplies have saved countless American lives. We salute these heroic officials on the front lines. As we continue to develop potential therapies, the FDA has recently begun a national effort to expand access to convalescent plasma donated from the blood of those who have recovered from the virus. The blood of these donors contains antibodies that can potentially reduce the severity of the illness in those who are sick, and frankly, those that are very sick. Nearly 3,000 patients are now enrolled in the expanded access program, receiving transfusions nationwide. And I want to thank all of the people that recovered for what they've done. They, as I said yesterday, they raise their hand when they barely can walk, and they're saying, I want to donate blood, I want to donate whatever it is that you want, because we want to help people. It's really quite incredible. Convalescent plasma will also be used to manufacture a concentrated antibody treatment that does not have to be matched with a particular blood type. This concentrated antibody treatment could be used as a preventative measure to keep healthcare workers and other high-risk populations from contracting the virus in the first place. Very big deal. Clinical trials of these products are slated to begin within weeks, and we can maybe have a fairly quick solution. I urge Americans to um, get in there and keep doing what you're doing because, again, uh, we want those people recovering or recovered from coronavirus to contact their local blood and plasma donation center to learn how they can help. And they've been so great, and I just appreciate it. My administration has also partnered with leading, and we have really been establishing some great partnerships with leading technology companies and scientific journals to create a database of 52,000 scholarly articles on the virus that can be analyzed by artificial intelligence. Top AI experts are now using this wealth of data to gain insights into potential therapies. And we're collaborating with tech firms, universities, and our national labs to harness American supercomputers in the search for treatments and vaccines. That search is going on and it's being, I think you'll see in the future, you'll see it's very successful. Ultimately, it'll be a tremendous success. Great progress is being made at a rapid pace, a pace like no other. We have every hope that with the full mind and resources of American science and technology and with the courage and devotion, of the American people who have been so incredible. We will end this plague, and together we will restore the full measure of American strength and power and prosperity. Our country is going to do fantastically well. You see what's going on. There is a uh, pent-up demand in our country to get it back right where it was and maybe even better, and that's what's going to happen. So with that, I'd like to ask uh, Mike Pence to come up, Vice President, say a few words, please, Mike.